guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Magic of Aquatus. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Alright, hold on. Stupid thing. In 3, 2, 1, go. Right, cause that's holy mommy. You don't want to fuck with that. Like, mm mm. Mm mm. Well, you know, sometimes you have to hurt someone before you can save them. Nemo over here. I don't I don't want this. I wanna get out. Mm-mm. But also seeing holy mommy again just reminds me of like how I freaking tried my damn hardest in JP and in the end to get her. Cause I wanted it. Cause that card is just gorgeous and such. It's it's a beautiful fucking card. Between um Holy Mommy and Holy Alana love them both and that's something I was expecting I was expecting Holy Alina to like kind of make an appearance but you know because Alina's appearance in the second season is like very little to none like you get little parts where she's here and then she's like gone and such I'm like what well, damn you ain't gonna do anything she had kind of like in my opinion a more bigger appearance in season one but I think this show is gonna get season three I'm not really 100% sure because um we ain't gonna know until next week especially where they're possibly going to end this um because I think someone said there's like a little bit more that they can do and that is technically a season three but if it does maybe that might be the point where you know holy Elena might make an appearance I'm just saying, because I just want it. Hell, I wanted that card too, and I didn't even get it. Uh-uh. I just sure know it. Long freaking gone. Yeah, cause it's her now. Girl, they out there watching you. They don't even give a crap right now. I thought she would have blocked that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, shit, we screwed. I mean, six hours is a long time, but, you know, six hours can go like that. You know, honestly, I thought she was going to cry. But no, she only cries when it comes to Aroha. That's it. Because <laughs> that is her girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Baby. Yeah. Mm. Because there's always a price to pay. Unfortunately, no. Hmm. We just made up and now we fight again. Oh my god. Children. Children arguing it with a mommy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. Sometimes you gotta eat at crisis times. Talking to each other, I keep oh, so cute. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I never would have thought we would have seen this. Is it a mount? Well, yeah, and unfortunately that didn't happen because, look.
Mm-hmm. That's a good question. Might even have to kill him. Who, though? Oh, what's her face? The blue-haired lady? Because he had her focus on all that, yeah. You don't want that, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, a lot has happened. Yeah, but what if she doesn't really want to... Exactly. She don't give a shit. (laughs) I mean, because she is one of the, like big most interesting characters that we really don't absolutely know anything about and I really wish like there was either a whole episode on her as a coordinator and her ish because she like I mean Toko and Emu like will really Toka Toka is like the darkest character in this series but something tells me and the way she looks like she the things that she's probably gone through are way darker than Toka Oh, and I'm probably getting it out. (laughs) Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, but what we'd have to say, bleh. what we have to do the same thing with mommy? Okay. Let's see would that be it that has to be her talking about herself because it would it can't be anybody else because who else does she make a connection with because we don't really we barely still know anything about her Well, God damn. You can just tell she's having second thoughts about this and she knows it's wrong.
It didn't work, did it? Oh! Bro, what the fuck? Um, um, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, you know, that was hella creepy. I mean, I got zombie vibes from that, but like, ooh, I really thought they were gonna like at least get into Sereno and just like so that she could have been okay. Like everything was going so fucking good. I mean, the cinematography in this episode, almost really in any like battle scene for these episodes, so freaking good and gorgeous and pretty. Like, oh my god, just, just you know, give Studio Chef all the awards. <laughs> All the fucking awards, please, because they need it. They're such a damn good studio. So, since that didn't work, are we gonna have to go to Plan B, aka kill her? Because what else can we do? I mean, Jesus, mm -mm. no, ma'am. Like, oh God, help her, please. Like, we like it, it was a it was a fifty fifty chance that they were going to be able to play to save mommy and Sereno. Now, you could see, obviously, with Sereno, it ain't work. Mommy, we don't even, because Madoka saved Sayaka, like, right then and there. So we're probably not going to see what that conclusion is until next week. And next week is the final fucking episode. So I'm like, <laughs> how are you going to, like, end all of this? by next week and where are you going to see like that's why i'm still thinking wherever the frick they're going to end this at they have to still conclude whatever the heck is going to happen in season three because there is no there is no way in hell you can end everything and tie it up in a nice neat little bow by next week because oh god i like game wise i don't even know what part they're, they're current, okay, they have to, like, because of the fact is Mommy and Serena were the big main focus these last, like, two episodes, they have to be at the boss fights, the, the boss fights for these two, of course, before they go to Nemo and Toka, um, so, oh shit, but, <laughs> oh god, how the fuck are we supposed to stop this? I mean, once again, Goddess Monica, come on now, like, <laughs> It is time. It is time to use Goddess Madoka. I mean, even though, like, probably that's a no, because in the, this series, it's like technically, from what I was told, I think, it, it's still in the alternate reality and such. But I mean, still, no matter what, Goddess Madoka should still exist, even in this timeline. So it's just, it, it's deep inside Monica, and she just has to find it and just use it or something that or maybe like Kuroe is gonna come out of her doppel and officially you know try to help and stuff because with Kuroe her her biggest like person who critiques her is herself if it's not her it's someone who she possibly got close to and because she is an anime only character and we barely really know anything about her you're getting like every single week with her like little tidbits because going back to season one this was a girl who we saw like once or twice like maybe in the first few episodes one time and then like we all forgot about her and then she finally pops up by the end of season one and then season two she gets a little bit more backstory but not enough so i'm hoping that number one she doesn't die and that if this show continues on which i think it is because they do want to finish this by the end of the year um that crow gets a little bit more on her backstory the coordinator with a little bit of her stuff because like i said she is one of those like dark twisted characters that 
in the series like you don't really get to see much about and so you anytime when you see her you want to see like how the fuck she like ticks and everything and so makes me now want to go even though we got to see like a teeny tiny bit of her backstory and stuff it makes me want to go back and like look and read on her and such because she is a very interesting character she kind of reminds me of um what the fuck is your name from freaking monogatari um uh, oh my god <laughs> fucking agaragi's um the other half of him straight up that character and funny enough that is mommy say you who plays that character still can't believe that shit but it's so freaking hilarious but honestly I really don't know how in the world this is going to end I just hope that I, I mean like okay let's say I, like the biggest thing I'm expecting next week is for it to end in a cliffhanger that's the biggest thing so that when fall 2020 2021 my bad um comes around that's when they're going to conclude everything of whatever happens in this next episode but really we ain't gonna know until next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven of season two of magic over quote if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the Metro squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for the final episode bye guys